I'm a fluid artist. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am going to be resining some coasters today. I've got these geode shaped molds. I have six of these and then four with the hole in the center. And I'm going to be going for kind of a Christmas type feel. So the resin I'm using is Artist Resin by Counterculture. And um, this is what I've been using lately, mostly their thin viscosity. And now I've got just the regular one and um, I like it so far. And for the colorants, I'm going to use a white pigment for epoxy. It's by Armor Art. I'm also going to use this white shimmer mica powder. I'll be using some fine gold glitter. And I found these little um, poinsettias from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to put in the center of some of the coasters. But they're really pretty. Um, I'm going to be using the white and gold ones for sure. Maybe the red ones, I don't know yet. And then I've also got some crushed glass with a glint of gold on it, and I got this from Michael's. Um, got my gloves so I don't get any resin on my skin. And then I'll go ahead and put on my protective equipment. All right, let's get started. Let's use some of this rubbing alcohol and clean out the container before we pour resin in it so it won't have any dust or dirt. We want our resin to be perfectly clear. just use clear plastic cups to measure the resin and I just eyeball it. I just make sure they're exactly up to the same line. So with this resin it's equal parts of A and B. And one part's the resin, one part is the hardener. As you can see, all the air bubbles in there. We're going to use some uh, heat gun and some hot water to pop some of those bubbles. Now I'm pouring both parts into this separate clean container, and this is what we are going to mix up. Mixing sticks are silicone and it's really nice. You can just wipe them clean afterwards and keep using them. And if you forget to wipe it clean and the resin cures on there, you can actually peel it off once it's dry. In the description box, I'll try to list all of the supplies and the materials that I used in case you are interested in trying to recreate this project or something similar. Here are those pretty little flowers that we're going to use in the middles. I think I'll just go for the white this time. I'm pouring crystal clear over this and when I found that um, a lot of air bubbles got trapped underneath and around the little petals of the flowers and but I was able to get most of them out with the heat gun and um, the ones I couldn't get out I just left that as part of the design. I love this pearl mica powder. It, it adds a lot of shimmer. It's really beautiful. And I'm using white acrylic paint because the Armor Art pigment that I had said I was going to use didn't work. When I opened it, it was rock solid. So. Since then I've ordered another one and it was just fine, but for some reason that one that I had was defective. So I used the white acrylic paint, which wasn't quite as white, but I ended up um, liking the more the off-white, the ivory color these turned out to be. I'm gonna go around the edge and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a clear in the center where the flower is, because we don't wanna cover up our focal point. Then I'm just blending with the stick and popping bubbles with the air with the heat gun. Of course
course we have to add some glitter. These ones are going to be really pretty, I think. Just elegant. I end up going over my resin projects multiple times with the heat gun, and if I'm not using silicone co um, coaster molds, I'll also use the torch. If it's like a board or a tray, I'll use the torch as well. That pops the bubbles way better than the heat gun, I find. Here's some lovely crushed glass. This is so fun to add to the resin projects. Let's give it extra dimension, extra sparkle. Using a paintbrush to spread them out instead of my hands. I just don't want to leave any, don't want to leave any marks with my fingers. And it's just easier because the glass can be a little bit sharp. Here's the clear top coat. How do you guys think these are going to turn out? If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up. I'm really excited to demold the final product. We're going to let these cure for about a day or oh, three days for sure to be, to be certain. We're not going to leave any fingerprints. And here we go. easily out of the molds. I don't use any mold release spray. I just avoid using the torch. And I'm going to go over the edges with some gold to add that finishing touch. I'll show you at the end how that looks with the edging on. I take an X-Acto knife if there's any um, drips on the edges or anything I need to sand down. I'll just sand it or cut it away. Make the edges Fairly smooth. This is what I'm going to use on the edge. It's just like a little gold gilding paint called Montmartre. I just apply it with a paintbrush. It works really well. I ordered it from Amazon and I really like it. It's like a pale gold and very shiny. Here it is on another set of dark blue coasters that I did. So you can see what it's going to look like. I think it really adds that finishing touch to the coasters when you put something around the edge. Yeah, I really like how these turned out. unmolding of one of these flower ones. Turned out really, really pretty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, just imagine the possibilities, like um, there's so many stickers and um, pretty little decals like this at craft stores. Um, just imagine all the different kinds of coasters you could make using them. There's a lot of beautiful flowers. I mean, there's butterflies, pretty much everything seashells. Yeah, these are lovely. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious. And I'm glad I could share this video with you. I'll show you the final um, staged photo coming up here in just a couple seconds. Here is our finished coaster with the beautiful edges. If you like it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see what I make next. Acrylic pours are coming up soon.